shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And now, I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So, I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be up my way. It's quite cool on the river today, so I've got my woolly on. I'm putting my life jacket on as well. My book says that if I go along here, I'll come to the town of Evesham. And near there is a woolen mill. Well, that sounds like a good place to go on a chilly day. So it's time to start the engine. I think I'll stop. I could knit new things to wear because my woolly has got holes in it. It's a bit drafty when the wind blows. <laughs> Did he say he's feeling chilly, Rosie? I think he's going somewhere to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those sheep. They've had a wool cut to make woolly jumpers for somebody. like a really interesting place to go. And they might have some new jumpers for sale. Or some wool to knit one. I think I'll stop there anyway. live somewhere, mustn't they? Oh dear. Oh, now look, Rosie's over there. And Fizz Dog is just over there. <laughs> now I'm not scared. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, Jim. <laughs> now, I wonder what's around here. Oh, that doesn't mean it's a 
this might be the place where I can get some wool to mend the holes in my poor old woolly, or even get a new woolly. I'll go and have a look. What a lovely place. Always warm in beautiful colours. Got a man ahead. Hello, I'm John. Hello, I'm Richard. Nice to meet you. This is a beautiful place you have here. Well, there's plenty of colours. There are. I love that blue over there. Well, there's blues or golds or greens, ivories, greys with glycerin, pieces with other colours in as well. They're gorgeous. But I'm looking, well, I'm looking for some wool, you see, because I've got these big holes in my arms and uh, I thought I might be able to mend them. Well, I really think you need a new jumper. I think you're right as well. That's a good idea. But what I wonder about is, how do you make these lovely balls? Well, they're wound down this way. Do you want to come and have a look? I'd love to. Thank you. Now, this is our ball winder. We've got green on there and some blue. What's that machine doing? that you're very busy knitting there and I've just chosen some wool because I want to knit myself a new woolly because this one's all in holes. The trouble is that I've forgotten how to knit such a long time since I did it. I wonder if you can show me. Yes, of course. Mm, thank you very much. Now, it needs to get it in the right place, isn't it? Right, where do I begin? Put your first needle through the first stitch. Through the stitch, yes. Back the wool over the needle. Yes. Pull the needle back and slip yeah. the stitch off. Slip the stitch off. Oh, That's it. Stitch. White wool, yellow wool, blue. Wait 
can make a start on knitting my new jumper. yet because I've got lots of ideas for my Rose and Jim story. So now I write my story all about Rosie and Jim in my book. One cloudy day. Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the old rag doll right out in the countryside. Jim went up a hill to see what he could see. He went into a little wood. He heard something coming, stamp, stamping on the ground. It came round a tree. He saw two curly, curly horns. He saw two shiny eyes. He saw big, sharp teeth. Help, shouted Jim. Help, the dragon. And he ran his life all the way down the hill. Rosie put her arms round him, and he was safe. Where's this dragon, said Rosie. The dragon came out of the wood. It said, ba ba. It's not a dragon, said Rosie. It's a sheep. A sheep, said Jim. There were more sheep coming out of the wood. Lots of sheep, said Rosie. They won't eat you. They only eat grass. I thought it was a dragon, said Jim. It's covered in fluffy stuff. Wool, said Rosie. That's what it is. When they went home, Rosie and Jim knitted warm woolly scarves for themselves. A blue one for Rosie, a green one for Jim. 